everybody. Call me here. What's up that weird dance? Just dancing. Dancing. Dancing in the front of my closet. So today, I, um, well, actually I should probably apologize first. I haven't made a video in a very long, long time and I haven't been keeping up with my weekly Sunday videos because school and work, I'm very busy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I really, I've been wanting to make a video but I just haven't had any ideas. And I've been so busy with homework because I'm taking an online math class and it's just like, too much stuff, too much stuff. So, I decided to make a wardrobe video. Lolita wardrobe video anyway. Um, I'm not really wearing Lolita today, just Lolita inspired. This is a skirt that I made for Lolita, but I haven't actually made a Lolita cord with it yet, so I'm just kind of wearing it anyway, because I can. Yeah. So I'm going to show you what I have in my closet right now. I'm going to be selling some of it, because some of it doesn't fit, and some of it I just, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it because I like it, but I don't know if I'm ever going to actually wear it and there's really no point keeping something I'm not gonna wear. So yeah. Into my closet we go, just... Oh, clothing. My Lolita stuff is mixed in with all my regular clothing, so just... just... See you later guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home. Just, uh... See you later. I'm going to start with OPs. So yeah, let's do that. So the first OP I have is this body black bodyline OP. I'll put the information of each piece down here, like the name or the number in bodyline's case. But it's a cute little plain black OP. This dress is super super comfortable. The lace on the shoulders is kind of scratchy, it's not the most comfortable lace, but the lace on the neckline is really nice for some reason. I don't know why they did that. Second OP I have, and the only other OP I have at the moment, is another bodyline OP. This one is the playing card ones. I believe it's technically a replica of an Infanta print, I believe. But I didn't really like the Infanta ones because it didn't come in black and this one's black, so you know, I had to have it. But this one's also really comfortable. It is a little tight in the chest, but that's pretty much it. The lace on the shoulders is nice, or the arms is nice, and it's just a really comfortable OP. I wear it all the time, so I call this my lazy dress because it's just super comfortable and awesome and easy to wear. So next, we're going to move on to the JSKs. So this is actually the very first piece that I ever got for Lolita, and one of the ones that I'm considering selling because I don't know if I'm gonna wear it. It is a candy print JSK from Bodyline. I don't know the number or the name, if it has a name. This one's also incredibly comfortable. The print is a little busy, so I don't know how I feel about that. <clears throat> Though it makes for a really cute cord, and it's super comfortable. Lots of room for petticoats in the skirt. And it's just really comfortable. I don't really like the lace on the front here. I might change that if I do keep it. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it there. And yeah, first Lolita piece that I actually ordered. This next JSK I have is a Kinsuyo JSK. It is called Night of Black Magic, I believe. This is a super awesome OP. It's one of my favorites, or OP. This is a super awesome JSK. I really love this one. The print is beautiful with the like skeletal giraffe and the cool moon and stuff. And it's super comfortable. It has like full back shearing and waist highs and whatnot. And it also has these little like sleeve things on it. So I can wear it like an OP, but I have them off right now because I wore it recently in the fashion walk. This is probably one of my favorite pieces at the moment. Like I love I love everything about this dress. I just, I love this dress. I've wanted it for so long, and when I got it, I was like, yes, it's here. I love it so much. So this is Lucine Dream by Angelic Pretty. It is a, another lovely JSK. It's only partially sheared. I took the um, corset lacing off the back because it's a really, really tight fit on me unless I wear a 
sports bra and mine recently like broke so yeah um it's super comfortable i'm still trying to get the perfect like shape for it because it's light chiffon material it's really hard to get that perfect bell shape and it's just so hard and i don't know what to do and i love this jsk but the petticoats always look horrible with it so i haven't really worn it out yet i've just put it on looked in the mirror and been like i love you but i can't wear you yet so i don't know i'll figure something out with this one and it also has where is it pocket but yeah, I really, really love this print with the little bird cages and the birds, and it's just, it's just cute. I love it. I like it. I like it a lot. And this last JSK, which is technically a skirt, is um, Dark Magic Party by Infanta. This is another print that I really, really, really love, like just as much as that kid's yo-yo print. I really, really love this print. It's a like Halloween theme. Super cute. It has like ghosts and cats and bats and I think a cauldron somewhere. I don't know. But it's really cute. It's um this whole front part here is detachable, so you can wear it as a skirt. It has buttons on the inside, and it has this cute little detachable like tie right here. And it actually has two pockets. There's one right here and one right here. But it's really, really cute. It also has a built-in petticoat, so I get, like, maximum poof out of this one. But it's really cute. And this is honestly one of my favorite pieces. Now, probably next to the Kids Yo-Yo one. I just really love it. So now, we're going to move on to skirts. The first one being the one I'm wearing now. I still have to cord it properly. It's kind of hard to see. It's a handmade one. I made this one myself when I got my sewing machine for Christmas. It is a purple print with little like swirly clouds all over it and little golden like sparkles on it. And it just, just has a little waist thing here. I just wear this because it looks, it kind of ties it better with everything. So this is probably my favorite skirt from Bodyline. Um, again, stuff down here somewhere. It's super, super comfortable. Um, it has boning. I really want it in black, but it was sold out in black when I got it, so I got it in red instead. But it's really, really nice. It's really heavy, really thick, and it's just really, really comfortable. And high-waisted skirts are like one of my favorite things in the world, so yeah. This next skirt is another replica, apparently. I didn't know that when I bought it, but whatever. It happens. Uh, this is another high-waisted skirt. It has boning, and it has this little bow. It's super, super comfortable. I wear this one a lot, just like that OP, the one with the cards on it. Super comfortable, long, which I kind of like. I prefer my stuff long. Longer, not like past my knees, but like close to my knees. But super comfortable. The second old lady piece I bought. And I definitely like this one more than the first one. I wear it a lot. This one is another bodyline skirt. This is the other piece I'm thinking about selling. I'm not 100% sure yet. It's really, really comfortable. It's really, really cute. I really love everything about this skirt. The cute little like Cinderella bunny thing, theme going on. And I, I might keep this one just because I really, really actually like this one. But I'm not 100% sure yet. So we'll see if I sell it or not. And this last piece is my very first brand piece. I When I first saw this, I was like, it has cats, it has music sheets, it has pianos, and saxophones and cellos and or basses and a harp and a tuba and some other stuff but it's really really cute I love music prints I love cats it's beautiful black purple everything about the skirt I just love it's from metamorphose it's called I believe what was it musical cats I think is what it was called it sold out really fast so I don't really remember but this is one of my favorite pieces and I finally figured out a cord for it that looks really, really good. So I'm really excited about wearing this again. So I think that's it for all my Lolita stuff. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what my wardrobe is made of so far in half a year. Yeah, spent a lot of money. I'm trying to save up now so I can buy stuff that I really want, like a better camera. So I kind of need that. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Subscribe button's like 
over here somewhere, I think. I don't remember. It's somewhere on your screen. You should totally press it. Or the like button, that too. Or the dislike, I mean, that's up to you. If you didn't like the video, then dislike it. Entirely up to you. <sighs> anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I don't know why I'm doing these poses. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.